गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडेज क्लास वी विल सी अबाउट द बी एस सी नर्सिंग डिग्री सप्लीमेंट्री एग्जामिनेशन मे टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटी सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉज द एक्सप्लेन दिसन टेकिंग प्लेस इन द न्यू बॉन्ड सोन आफ्टर डिलीवरी डिस्कस इमीडिएट केयर ऑफ न्यू बॉन्ड द फिसियोलॉजिकल अडाप्टेशन टेक सेवन मार्क्स एंड द इमीडिएट केयर ऑफ न्यू बॉन्ड कैरी सेवन सेवन मार्क्स सो एट प्लस सेवन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन सो एक्सप्लेन द फिसियोलॉजिकल अडाप्टेशन टेकिंग प्लेस इन न्यू बॉन्ड physiological adjustment task are those who involve establishing and maintaining respiration adjusting to circulatory changes regulating temperature ingesting retaining and digesting nutrients eliminating waste and regulating weight so i have been dealt in detail in another video so you can just refer that one the immediate care of newborn Objectives of immediate care include establish maintain respiration ensure warmth prevent infection provide care to the eyes care to the umbilicus provide care to the skin make observation and documentation make identification and transfer second define preeclampsia explain the path of physiological changes taking place explain the management of pregnant woman with preeclampsia so definition carries two marks it is a multi system disorder of unknown etiology characterized by development of hypertension to the extent of 140 by 90 mm of mercury or more with proteinuria after 20th week in a previously normotensive and non proteinuric patient the pathophysiology changes taking place is it carries six marks so the blue one in the top blue one that is the genetic factors the existing risk factors immunological factors these are the etiological factors this shows shallow placentation reduced placental perfusion decrease increase circulating flt1 and seng and decrease circulating pigf and vgef other factors like obesity so this all will lead to intrauterine growth restriction symmetrical vascular dysfunction capillary leak and vasospasm ultimately lead into proteinuria glomerular endotheliosis coagulation abnormalities like help syndrome cerebral edema like eclampsia angiotensin 2 hypersensitivity and hypertension so this is the pathophysiological changes occurred because of the pathologic pathophysiology the clinical features occurring are this the management of a pregnant woman with preeclampsia This is divided into two. One is mild, and second one is severe preeclampsia. In case of severe eclampsia, admit the patient to lab and delivery room. Medical and fetal assessment. Consider whether to start with magnesium sulfate. Treat dangerous hypertension. Contraindication for conservative management. Persistent symptoms of severe hypertension. Eclampsia, pulmonary edema, Hep syndrome, significant renal dysfunction, coagulopathy, abruption. Preventable fetus fetal compromise. If it is present, then we have to deliver the baby at any cost. If it is absent, initial 24 24 to 48 hours observation, corticosteroids for lung maturation of the fetus, ferric and evaluation vital signs, daily lab evaluation for Hep syndrome, then ongoing inpatient management, and deliver at 34 weeks. If it is a mild preeclampsia. any of the following are present that means 37 gestation or more nor and non reassuring fetal status or maternal indication for delivery labral membrane rupture at 34 weeks or more then we have we may have had to go for the delivery if it is not present then then we have to consider any of the, the those following between 23 to 32 weeks of gestation and the label patient systolic pressure above 150 diastolic above 100 proteinuria more than 1 gram per 24 maternal symptoms if it is present then hospitalization and maternal fetal evaluation if it is not present hospital or ambulatory management can be given short notes on obstetric indications dosage of ergot delivery mode of action include ergometrin act directly on myobitrium it excite uterine contractions which come so frequently one after another with increasing intensity that uterus passes into a status spasm without any relaxation in between commonly used drugs are ergometrin 0.25 mg and methotrexate 0.2 mg <coughs> indication therapeutic to stop atonic uterine bleeding following delivery abortion or expulsion of hydatid hormone prophylactic in case of Against excessive bleeding, it is administered after delivery or anterior shoulder. 
the fourth question in relation of uterus this is a process whereby genital organs especially the uterus revert back to approximately to the pre pregnant state it is divided into three immediate early and remote Pipera is a woman who is in a pale period. Mainly, there is two type of changes that is progressive, that means ovulation and breastfeeding. Retrogressive, all other changes comes under the retrogressive changes. Pipera sepsis, it is detail, discussed in detail in May 2016 question paper. Importance of breastfeeding, we have to write about it for the baby, for the mother, for the family, for the community, and for the nation. Give reasons. Routine assessment of fetal heart rate need to be done during every antenatal visit. FHS monitoring gives information about the fetal well-being so that appropriate measures can be taken to save the fetus if needed. After delivery of the anterior shoulder of the baby, Mothergen needs to be administered. Mothergen is an ergot derivative which causes vigorous uterine contraction so that bleeding after delivery from a placental site can be minimized. If it given before delivery of the anterior shoulder, fetus will be strapped in the uterus, make the labor difficult. Early clamping of the umbilical cord should be done in case of RH incompatibility. Early clamping will reduce the transfer of blood from the placenta to the baby. This reduces the fetal maternal transfusion and reduces the chance for ISO immunization. Newborn baby need to be attached to the breast soon after delivery. Early breastfeeding will help the baby to get to the colostrum and it helps the maternal oxytocin production helps in contraction of uterus. Partograph is maintained for every woman in labor. Partograph gives all detail about the woman in labor and fetus in a single sheet of paper. This helps the caregiver to detect any change at the earliest and help to prevent prolonged or obstructed labor. <coughs> Sorry, differentiate between uterine tetany and uterine inertia. Uterine inertia, otherwise known as hypotonic uterine dysfunction, intensity is diminished, duration is shortened, and good relaxation in between the contractions and intervals are increased. Patient feels less pain during contraction, no risk for maternal exhaustion or fetal distress. Uterine tetany, otherwise known as generalized tonic contraction, pronounced retraction occurs involving wall uterus. So, no physiological differentiation between upper and lower uterine segment. The intensity is increased, duration of contraction is increased, and no relaxation between contraction. Preterm baby and low birth weight baby. Premature baby or preterm baby is a baby born before 37 completed weeks of gestation, calculating on the first day of last menstrual period. The weight is 2500 gram or less. The length is usually less than 44 cm. The head and abdomen is relatively large. Skull bones are soft with wide sutures. The head circumference disproportionately exceeds that of the chest. Pin of the ear are soft and flat. Eyes are kept closed. Skin is thin. Red and shiny due to lack of subcutaneous fat. Muscle tone is poor. Nails are ground up the fingertips. The main complication include asphyxia, hypothermia, pulmonary syndrome, cerebral hemorrhage, jaundice, and pitting deckness arteriosis. Low birth weight baby. One whose birth weight is less than, less than that of 2.5 kg. That it can be either preterm baby or gestational age baby. Small for gestational age. The factors influencing low birth weight baby, apart from the preterm birth, include socioeconomic status, nutrition, and intrauterine environment, ethnic background, genetic control, and also important that birth weight is below 2.5 kg, is known as low birth weight baby. Cord prolapse and cord presentation. The cord is lying inside the vagina or outside the vulva following rupture of membrane. The cord can be palpated directly by fingers and its pulsation can be felt if the fetus is alive. Management protocol guided by the whether the baby is alive or not. Maturity of the baby and degree of dilatation of the cervix immediate vaginal delivery is not possible. First, first aid measures like bladder filling, post flood treatment or replace the cord into the vagina to minimize vasospasa. Cord presentation, the cord is slipped below the presenting part and felt lying in an intact bag of membrane. Diagnosis is made by feeling the pulsation of the cord to the intact membrane. If immediately, vaginal delivery is not possible, so sudden delivery is must, best method of delivery. Force of the delivery and vacuum delivery. Force of the delivery is the means of extracting the fetus with an aid of obstetric force has been inadequate for impossible for the mother to complete delivery by her own effort. Forceps can be used to assess the delivery or of the aftercoming head of the breech on an occasion to withdraw the head up and out of the pelvis as a section. Prerequisite for forceps delivery are full dilatation of cervix, subshared membrane, positive identification of presenting position, no appreciable cephalopelvic disproportion, and definitive enlargement of the engagement of the head. 
indication of forceps delivery fetal distress in the second stage of labor delay in the second stage of labor malposition occipital occipital lateral occipital posterior position maternal exhaustion or distress breech presentation forceps can usually used to deliver after coming head in controlled fashion vacuum delivery the ventus or vacuum extractor consists of a cup which is attached to the fetal scalp the suction traction is applied by means of a chain and the fetal head is drawn out of the vagina it takes 10 to 15 minutes to apply advantage is that it can be applied before the cervix is fully dilated it does not add to the presenting diameters and if correctly positioned it brings about flexion of the head and natural rotation indication of mild fetal distress delay in the second stage of labor or late first stage malposition occipital posterior occipital lateral and occipital posterior position maternal exhaustion endometriosis and adenomyosis endometriosis is abnormal growth of cells that is endo endometrial cells similar to that of the that from the inside of the uterus but in location outside the uterus endometriosis is most commonly found in other organs of the pelvis the exact cause of endometriosis has not been identified endometriosis is more common in women who experiencing infertility than in fertile women but the conditions does not necessarily cause infertility adenomyosis is a common condition in which the inner lining of the uterus breaks through the muscle wall of the uterus adenomyosis can cause menstrual cramps lower abdominal pressure floating before means bloating before menstrual periods can result in heavy periods the condition can be located throughout the entire uterus or localized at one spot through adenomyosis is considered the in a benign that is not life threatening condition a frequent pain and heavy bleeding associated with it can be negative impact on women's quality of life thank you for listening